I'm here today with actor, presenter, traveler, comedian, Michael Palin, who is in Florence filming his upcoming BBC on Artemisia Gentileschi. Uh, Michael, we are so, so, so happy to have you here. We are all in awe of you, and so <laughs> therefore, if I, if I really make mistakes on this <laughs> quick Q&A, forgive me. Well, <laughs> so, so, so. I'm not good at dealing with awe, <laughs> put it this way. I'm so. in awe of Florence. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> and all the knowledgeable people who know about Artemisia a lot more than I do, but it's that's part right. of the learning process, that's why I'm here, yeah. Your art documentaries did you, how do they differ from your travel, your extreme travel dialogues? I mean, is there, yeah. I mean, I know there's, I mean, I, I know the difference there. Are there any? Well, the, the arts documentaries are one of those things which I treasure particularly because usually um, the, the television company you're working for want to put you in a sort of slot. So Michael Payne was comedian and then I, was yes. did, I did comic films, A Fish Called Wanderer, things like yes. that. Oh, he's a comic film actor. And then, by uh, a series of circumstances, I ended up doing travel documentaries. Mm -hmm. Oh, Michael's now a travel presenter. Ah. The great thing about the arts documentaries, uh, we just started with one, uh -huh. um, you know, um, Mary McNeil, Nellina Ewell, two women working for BBC Scotland, asked me would I be interested in um, uh, appearing in a film they were making about an artist called Anne Redpath sort of 20th century Scottish artist whose work I liked. And I bought a couple of her pictures. And they said, we'd like to come to your house and, and film the pictures. And then they said, well, if you're really enthusiastic, would you like to present the programme? Would you like to know more about oh. Anne Redpath and her work? And oh. I said, yeah, all right. You know, <laughs> it means going to the south of France in the summer. You know, oh, poor that. boy. <laughs> and poor learning kid. about the artist. So I, I overcame that resistance. And, um, and that's how that the first one the, came about. Yeah. And it, it, you know, it wasn't, it was a small scale success. Uh -huh. But after that, Eleanor, Murray and myself, we, we tended to make them when we wanted to make them. There was oh. no, we weren't put in a slot saying, uh -huh. now Michael Payne has become an arts presenter, so he's only going to do arts programmes. We did them as and when we thought oh. there was a subject. And we've now oh, done nice. over 18 years, uh, nearly, uh, 17 years, we've now done Artemisia would be our sixth one, My and they're goodness. entirely because we wanted to do them. Now that happens very, very rarely. That's rare. Um, and I think the good thing is that we do, we do. Um, I mean, modestly, we do make them. We do do them well. Yes. We have a very good camera. We, and Ellen and Mary know a lot about the 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 artist, mm -hmm. and we also do them from the heart. Mm -hmm. You know, this is not just oh, we've got to do yeah. this one now because well, that one now because he or she is fashionable. Mm -hmm. It's entirely our own enthusiasm. Yeah. When you talked about the artists, uh, most of them, as you said, are, are not that well-known, and you'd like to have them yeah. become well-known. Um, I have always thought Artemisia Gentileschi was fairly well-known, mm -hmm. so I'm curious why you particularly chose her, mm -hmm. Artemisia. I mean, is there yeah. a reason for Artemisia, or is it? No, there was a, there was a reason. I was very taken with um, um, Judith and Holofernes, one. Yes. I can't remember which one it was, the Uffizi or the one in France, but one of those images, and I, the I, one where I remember she's seeing cutting it. the head off. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> That's it. Because it was so graphic. Yes. And so incredibly powerful. Yes, yes. And, and, and being administered by women in rather fine gowns and all yes. that. I thought this is, I've never seen a painting like this. Oh. Who's this by? Oh, uh, oh so you, had, you hadn't heard of her before? No, I didn't. Oh, no, did, no. Did well, I mean, I, I, no, I hadn't really. Uh, and I, oh. I saw that, that this was attributed uh -huh. to Artemisia Gentileschi. Uh -huh. I thought, well, I'd like to find out more about her. And also, I didn't know of any great female artist of that great period, you know, the post-Renaissance. Oh. Um, you know all the, the male painters who were around yes. at the time. Yes. So that intrigued me, and yes. that seemed to fit our, our brief if ah, we have one. I understand. Here's somebody you know, people will not know about, that there was that, that a painting as vigorous and physical and powerful yes, yes. and dangerous and as dangerous. this one <laughs> yes, yes. was painted by a woman. Yes, you know? yes. And, and so it went on from there, yeah. and we did a little bit more yeah. investigation, and um, my producer and, and director, Eleanor and Murray, both liked the idea of doing Artemisia. Oh, yeah. And there's an interesting story, which is that we approached the BBC, and the BBC had done um, a series, uh, well, may, may, I think it was just one film, in which Artemisia had been included. Oh. And they said, oh, you know, I think we've done Artemisia Gentileschi, we, it is in a film of ours about um, great women painters. I said, one film? 
They said, yeah, yeah, she'd been there. She, yeah, had about, she had about six minutes. I said, come on. <laughs> you know, what yes, would be, yes. can you imagine a series called, a, 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 a film called Great Men Painters? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So I, I said, come on, this is not, this is absolutely <laughs> the point we want to make. You've only given her six, six minutes, minutes in amongst five other you know, female artists uh, over 400 years. <laughs> There's more to explore there. And eventually won the battle and they gave Great. us... Great, good for you. They I gave think. us uh, the, the, the go-ahead with this. What do you hope from this movie? I mean, that's the other thing. I mean, obviously, obviously you want it to be a success. Yeah. I mean, that's... But is there anything beyond that? And it well, leads to another one, but is it yeah. any other more, you know... No, I mean, all I hope for is that this creates an impact um, attracts people, entices people, enchants people about the work of yes. of Artemisia. Yes. But also that they see, oh, this is a this is a way of looking at art which is kind of accessible and popular. Yes. Not too academic, mm -hmm. not not trying to sort of talk down to you in any shape or form, just saying this is the experience, I'm enjoying it. Also very much part of how what we're looking for and what we're doing is of putting the artist in the context of where they lived and where they worked. Yes. So in a sense, it is a sort of travel program. Yes. yes. Very, very important, the surroundings. Yes. It's not all just done yes. in studios and, and, yes. and, and galleries. Are you, you just doing the um, Artemisia in Florence? Well, no, we're going to Rome. Oh, you are going oh, to Rome. Oh, yes, going to Rome and oh. Naples, of course. Oh, you are? Yes. Oh, I had no yes. idea. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Yes. No, no yes. we have, we have. Well, she was here for seven years, so that was... That's know, right, yeah. yes. I mean, so this was really probably the most important and yes. productive period yes. of her life. Probably. Mm -hmm. But Rome, we'll talk about her early life and where she lived, mm -hmm. and, and of course the rape trial and yes. all that. Yes, yes. And then Naples, I've never been to Naples, so I'm looking oh, forward to going there. Uh, that um, would be the interesting. The Capo di Monte, uh, uh -huh. oh. um, Judith and Holofernes yes. will be seeing there. Yes. So that will be full circle probably, yes. from when I first saw that picture to being in the in the gallery and seeing it for real. That will be interesting, your yeah. response, yes. Well, they say that your group really is set the, has set the, the tone for the comedy, uh, it, as it is today, as the Beatles set the tone mm. for music, as you know it is today, too. And I find that, how do you feel being the, the forerunner to, of doing this? I mean, if setting, setting the tone, <laughs> making, making it why it is today, what it is today. Well, you know, the impact of Python is just something that grew up around us. Mm -hmm. We didn't obviously at the time set out to break any yeah. boundaries. You didn't realize that at the time. We, yeah. I mean, we did realize that we wanted yeah. to do a different kind yes. of show. Yes. Everyone was doing something new. The mm -hmm. Beatles were doing something yes. new in music. Mary Quant was doing something new in fashion. Um, we just thought it'll be there for a couple of years <laughs> and that'll be that. Uh, now why it has stayed uh, in, the, in the sort of public arena for so long, why people still appreciate Python, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, really? We're uh, probably the wrong people to ask. I think, just from what people say to me, it is the fact that it doesn't date. Yes. It wasn't topical. Yes, it's not topical. Um, yeah. There were some good, strong, hard sketches, you know, mm -hmm. some quite tough mm -hmm. stuff, but also there was a lot of slightly more sort of surreal, whimsy-esque, slapstick mm -hmm. stuff, which mm -hmm. people, I think people like the mixture. Mm -hmm. And also, you never knew what you were going to get in a Python <laughs> That's show. True, yes. You know, the characters were different yes, each time. Each time. Um, and the other thing I, I think, which I've just thought about this, is that actually, I mean, there's a lot of comedy now which is quite introspective mm -hmm. and, and tending to talk about how awful our lives are and how difficult things are and how dreadful life is and all that sort of thing. Python was, at the end uh, of each show, it left you with quite a joyful feeling. <laughs> it was quite uplifting in a way. I don't want to seem as though we're sort of, you know, cheery, happy-go-lucky <laughs> writers, but I think we were. Yes, I think we honestly yes, wanted yes. to just entertain and make people laugh. Just make that people was the laugh. primary mm -hmm. thing. We oh. didn't really want to make them think, or, uh -huh. or they didn't need to think. They could just, just it was an laugh. instinctive feeling that they got from it. And I think that's still, still why goes. people yes. like it. And also another thing is, I think it was quite childlike. I don't mean childish, mm -hmm. but there's a sort of childlike attitude to the world, you know, mm -hmm. questioning mm -hmm. anyone in authority or whatever, or the establishment, <laughs> in a kind of light-hearted, teasing way. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I think that um, I think that's why a new generation now can look at Python and say, oh, it. this is just about how absurd <laughs> grown-ups are. <laughs> look at these guys. You know? <laughs> My last question to you, and I'm sure you're asked this all the time, but it seems a nice way to end, is how would you like to be remembered? Oh, well. I, I, I know that sounds trite, mm. but, but there, it, there's a lot of meat to it too, a lot of soul. Mm. Well, I think I'd You've like to be so remembered. Many things. Yeah, as someone for whom life was a constant learning process, you know? Uh, Learn something new every day. Every day. That's, that, that would be the thing. 
Yeah. You're never going to know everything. That's right. Learn a bit. I like that very bit much. New every day. Yeah. Mind you, just to be remembered would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have to, have to worry about that. That's not a problem. Well, thank you, Michael, so much. It's been oh, okay. my pleasure Lovely. to interview you, and uh, I hope I see you again many more times. I hope so, too. So, Good luck with your work, uh, too, because I, I think it's great work. You're thank doing you. sort of what we're doing, but yes. in a much bigger, more organized, and more efficient <laughs> well, scale. <laughs> well, maybe we can work together on something. Uh, yeah. well, you never know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you.